I'm Gary Granger, and you're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. Hi everyone, John Liebman here. You're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. We are here at the 2016 Winter NAMM Show, Anaheim, California, with our old friend Gary Granger. What's happening, Gary? Hey, all is good. All is good. It's here in California, and it's snowing back there in, in D.C., where I just came from. Okay. Well, I hope you didn't lose any friends there with, uh, with some of your neighbors back home. Uh, the first interview we did was a long time ago. It was one of the early ones on ForBassPlayersOnly.com. So I know there's a lot happening since then. Tell us what's keeping you busy right now. I know you mentioned before the interview that uh, you've got some cool projects that you're working on. Why don't you tell us about those? Well, I do believe the last time we talked, I think we just had the, the PRS product line. I'm uh, not the PRS uh, private stock line out at that time. Now they have, I'm holding right here, is the PRS product line. And the only difference is the same woods, same makeup, just a little, not as many bells and whistles as, as the uh, private stock, as far as like the, the bridge, and there's like tap coals that's on the, uh, on the uh, private stock, which is not on here. And some of the colors you can't get on this leg, but everything is basically the same. You can do everything with this base. It's just amazing. This is the Gary Granger PRS signature base. Yeah, uh, signature product line base. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And what what else can you tell us about it? Cause it is beautiful. Well, like it's, it's, it's it has the maple neck, um, mahogany um, back, curly maple top, or you can get ash back. Um, all different types of woods that that Paul makes, and he also makes some. Just beautiful bases. Every time I come to this place to get a base, it's like some outrageous color. I say, what kind of what? What is that? I can't keep up with them. Anything about the electronics you can share with us? It's still the standard um, PRS electronics. Um, solid. The uh, the the preamp is like top of the line. Very quiet. You plug it in. No noise. No hum. And it's very powerful. And as you know, I've been using it for years now. <laughs> and the great. pickups. Yeah. Uh, that's PRS pickups, yeah. Kind of like, um, almost like humbucking style, but Paul's own secret design, yeah. Do you know what the secret is? Oh, no, no, he no. didn't tell me. Okay. <laughs> um, what are you doing with that bass? You're playing some music with it? You, you were doing some stuff with your brother, you were telling me? Still working with my brother, that's Greg Granger. Uh, we actually have a new CD, or CDs we're getting ready to release this year, uh, Granger Phase 3. Uh, my old group Pockets from the 70s, we're in the process of releasing the CD from them. Also working on the Marichelle Project and also the PRS band has, actually has a CD that's already out. We're going to start marketing. So we got a lot of stuff happening. All right. Well, I think you, you opened it up to, a, to another follow-up interview, and I promise not to wait so long this okay. time before we do it again. It's all good. Um, you were doing some other stuff, too. You were on the road. You were out with, what, Acoustic Alchemy? Yeah, I just came back from London with Acoustic Alchemy. They do, like, a residency in London at a place called the Pizza Express Jazz Club. And it's a beautiful, nice, tight, intimate 170-seater. And they play there from starting on the 13th, and we play every night all the way through to the holiday oh wow and it's really great it's really fun that's a yeah. nice long run yeah that's cool um, how about the future what else is uh, percolating up in your brain or what, what else are you planning to do or hoping to do or wishing to do what else is in store for gary granger mostly uh the marketing and and promoting these cds and getting stuff out there and, and trying to get our personal groups back out there like with granger and pockets uh, that's the the main focus of what Greg and I are trying to do right now and on the PRS thing right they and Greg plays he plays drums right that's yeah. what I thought yeah. okay bass and drums that's a good combination yeah. so uh, it's, it's a ball playing with my brother so it's all cool yeah my brother's a musician too and we uh, we've been playing together you know forever yeah. yeah I don't know if I asked you this last time or not Gary but what would you be if you were not a bass player something outside of music well I started off as an artist, I went to school for art. I actually, music was a sideline. I, you know, went to college for art, drawing and, and sculpturing and painting. So probably if I wasn't doing music, I'd be on that side, which is still the same side of the brain. But uh, yeah, 
uh, being artists. Okay, yeah. well, you've obviously got that creative bent there, so uh, I'm sure whatever you would do, it would uh, it would turn out great. We'd either look at it or we'd listen to it or something along those lines. Well, you know, what I'm doing right now is I'm bringing my old drawings and, and paintings back up because I may even feature them on the CDs. That would be great. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of people say, with, with, I miss the old vinyl, you know, when you'd buy a record and you look at the jacket, especially if it was the kind that opened up, and I miss that. So uh, I hope what you're talking about is uh, maybe the start of a trend to make the uh, the CD packaging and the, the things that we do today, although vinyl is kind of uh, coming back. Vinyl is coming back, and uh, I think we're going to tr do a vinyl run of some of these new projects. That's great. Well, you know, whatever yeah. format it is, it should not only sound good, but hey, what's wrong with making it look good too, right? Yeah, it's supposed to look good. Yeah. That's right. Why not? <laughs> All right. Well, great catching up with you, Gary, and congratulations on the new bass. That is one gorgeous work of art. Beautiful. Yes, Beautiful. I'm, yeah. I'm sure you appreciate it from uh, from that standpoint as well. It doesn't yes, just do. sound great and play great, but it looks beautiful too. Yeah. That's, that's Paul's trademark. Yes. <laughs> well, congratulations, and keep us updated on those, those projects, and we will watch for those, and uh, wish you a lot of luck with them. Thank you, Brent. All right. All right. With Gary Granger from the 2016 Winter NAM Show, I am John Liebman. You're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. Mm -hmm.